base. The Spectre base, you say? Yep, it's a fretless. Ooh. Oh, that's right. You showed me that one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Mm. Apparently, uh, I can't use the speaker. I have to, uh, you know, put the cans on. Ah, uh, you fucking animal! Like Look a at you. popper. Like oh a my popper. God. Can you imagine? I used to get so mad back in the 2010s at <laughs> people who wouldn't wear fucking headphones to come onto the stream. Because it'd be like, I can hear everything through your shitty mic. Hey, okay? boy. I have a condenser mic. It just right on right on the face hole. But, yeah, you know, there's a Windows update. There's an OBS update. Who can who can say? Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? Whatever. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm not, sorry. I am so sleepy. We're not cardio souls in uh, dark. Souls, no, we're not. But... We're sleepy souls in. Yeah, sleepy, sleepy souls. Let's update that. Sleepy souls. Uh, I decided I was so tired that I'd buy a couple of albums. Oh, what'd you buy? Oh, well. I picked up Dire Straits' Brothers in Arms for the, like, fifth time. Man, I was thinking about them earlier this week, and I was like, I should get some Dire Straits. I really, really, honestly, like, making movies, I think, is one of my, one of my favorite. It's one of my all-time top five. All right, what the hell do we have? This is randomizer. Uh, we got Solaire's... Well, this is randomized. Yeah, we got Solaire's Sword and its Magic, uh, the Bees Catalyst, Dragon Shield... All right, we got we got stuff. All right, cool. Uh, I guess let's fight a dragon that's gaping. Uh, Does it start you in a random place? No, we're picking up. You start at you know the normal places. Just okay. Sorry, man. I've been uh, I've been out of the out of the loop because this week has been so busy. I hear you. I hear you. All right. Uh, let's see. Okay, we have done like diddly and squat in the depths. Well. Axie John there is still alive, I see. Yeah, um... Hmm. Looks like it... Ah, oh, but it, you got something in your eye. <laughs> it's okay, we have a bow, I swear. Where is it? There we go. Okay, we got we got a great bow, and we got... Oh, you got the Avalon, you sweet bastard. I know, I never use it, because I'm lazy. Alright, let's uh, geometry clip. you're not a PvP'er. Nope. Now, um, I, I don't like player versus player combat. I'm here to murder an enemy, you know? You know? Damn it! It's I'm like these great arrows don't want to go through the tiny geometries. They seem a little thick. All right. Well, I guess. Whoop! No. Nope. So I gotta say, I've been enjoying the the dragon's dogma too, but I feel like I've been hobbling my enjoyment somewhat. All right. How so? Well, you know how there's different classes, different vocations, right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. And uh, you know, so you start off with like the normal guys. You gotta. You got a thief that's uh, that's a whippy dagger guy, and you've got an archer that's a bow guy. Damn it! What they did is they they took the trickster vocation and they or not the trickster they took the uh, the want no, what was it wanderer vocation I forget what it's called fuck the original thiefy one from okay. Dragon's Dogma one and they split it into two huh um, and then there's of course your little mage and your little sword and board fighter so I've been I've been leveling up all the boring ones. All the boring vocations. Strider, that's the one. Okay. So I've been leveling those up, but there's some really interesting ones that they've added, like the like the Mystic Spear Hand, which is kind of like a, a whippy magic guy that uses one of those those duo spears from Dark Souls 2. Oh, I was gonna say, you are telling me like you know a magic mystical spear person, like so, so Valkyrie? Is it a Valkyrie? Yeah. Well, it's kind of kind of Valkyrie. All I right. guess they just really hate dragons or something. And then there's the the trickster, which uses magic incense to create illusory monsters, which seems really interesting. And then they brought back magic archer. I mean, I like to think of myself as a magic archer in the uh, Dark Souls uh, parlance. There's uh, there's there's I guess there is a certain kind of magic to what you're doing here. <laughs> Well, I also like to glass cannon it with the throwing, magic, you know? Throwing telephone poles at a guy? Yeah, <laughs> Throwing right. telephone poles at an ooze? Okay, okay, you might be a big guy, but could you just, you know, huck a telephone pole into the middle of somebody's torso? I don't think so. You gotta be honest, I'm not sure. Although, although, apparently, as I understand it from an English person, the English longbow is pretty, uh, 
pretty peppy in terms of its ability to send long pieces of wood a great distance. Not quite a telephone pole, mind you, but, well... Yeah, close enough. After a certain point, you get some diminishing <laughs> returns here. Does it truly matter? <laughs> Speaking of diminishing returns, let's uh, get some idiots from down here, you know? Why not? I got... I oh, got... That doesn't sound like diminishing returns. That sounds like fucking tactics. You know I love tactics. Man, you are gonna hit that guy in the head. <laughs> with, a, with a fucking parking meter. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna and try. He's, he's gonna be like... <laughs> not not all of my tricks work on all platforms, you know? That's that's kind of the fun of Dark Souls, is remembering where I'm playing and what works based off where I'm playing. I think, I think he's safe, largely because I have the telephone pole. If I had a normal arrow, yeah, he'd be, he'd be cheese. Uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, the geometry is really weird. Yeah, that's a shame. Well, oh boy. So Fallout, you and you and the missus. Oh, we it, watched right? it all. I had such. I I went into it with the lowest of expectations, right? Me it's, too. It's a video game adaptation from so, Todd Howard. I'm not even like, getting into honest. Todd Howard's involvement. Just it's a video game adaptation, right? The bar is in the ground. That's how low it is. Did you guys see the the Super Mario Brothers movie? Absolutely not. I saw I saw the original one in the theaters as a kid. That was enough. You were happy with John Leguizamo. <laughs> I was happy with Eddie Valiant as Mario, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Uh, I love we we love Bob Hoskins in this house. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because we're you good know. people. Anyway, but it was it was it was quite enjoyable. It was extremely what you'd expect. All right. You know, there were there were no surprises to be had, unlike Fallout. Mm. Although to be honest, Kyle McLaughlin, I could watch that guy for hours. Yeah. Why don't you uh, read the phone book, Mr. McLaughlin? You know, he's so delightful. I, uh, I got, like I told Man, you. It's April 24th. I am pulling into the town of Megaton. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got to the end of the series and I saw the final shot and I said, fuck me standing. And Midge started laughing at me. Oh yeah. I can't wait till you get to it. I'm excited. It's, it's pretty good. I, uh, I'm, see the problem I'm having is that my extremely correctness adjacent knowledge of the lore. Mm -hmm is causing me some problems. It takes place 15 years after New Vegas and 9 years after 4. I looked it up after we were done watching all of them. It's like, I... Very good. Uh, I needed to make sure where things were. Yeah, I was actually a little confused by that because... Like, the math wasn't quite mathy. But I suppose if you've if you've figured that out, then good enough. Well, it wasn't me. I, I went to the internet and I went to I just put Fallout timeline into my uh, web search engine of choice, mm -hmm. and that's what I got. And it yeah. seems about right. All right, shortcut is over. Good, good, excellent. But I, uh, I indeed certainly enjoyed, uh, you know, a lot of the, uh, the little, the little touches, the, the, the references to the Fallout Bible, mm. as it were, you know, with, with the whole thumbs up thing. Yep. Well. Yeah, Goggins is fantastic. Damn it, they poisoned me, Skippy. Ah, uh, you got poisoned by a rat. I know. Right. Absolutely. Like, I couldn't really get into the Righteous Gemstones, for instance, but... Mm. You know, every every clip from that I see of of Walton's character is a delight. Ah, I, I like the gemstones. It was a fun one. Midge and I like to talk about how we really wish we would have gotten the real season two instead of oh no, it's COVID, we're not doing anything, and then the one that came released. All right. Uh, yes, Nuga, thanks for coming. Uh, we are, of course, you know, a foggy little ghost gal. That is that is our our method. You know. What if the enemies couldn't perceive us so well? That's what we want. What if we yeah. use stealth? What if we were left the hell alone? 
you know. What if we became a stealth archer? <laughs> Start stealth murderer. All right, what has he got for sale? Oh, he's not here. Damn it. I, Shuami. Uh, I shouldn't have killed that sexy spider gal, I tell you. So we got white dragon breath. Um, it kind of mm. sucks by the point that you normally get it, but if you get mm. it early, it's pretty good. Where, I don't even know where that's from. Is that from Seath's That soul? is, yeah. After you kill Seath and after you go and fight Crazy Logan. Also, oh. I can get this motherfucker here. Do it, do it, Damn do it, it, got do me it. first. Uh, it's okay, I'll take a little drink. Take a little drink, Aru. It's alright, because here's the thing, you're still standing. I am. Me and Alton. Right? Yeah. Stronger than I've ever been. My uh, co-worker today was listening to iHeartRadio and left to go do something, and... Instead of just going to sleep, her computer was having a freak out, and it started playing the audio through one of the other monitor speakers. And oh. so I had to call her, and I was like, Are you listening to Huey Lewis in the news? Oh, uh, I've been listening to a bit of Huey Lewis in the news. I mean, I like, I, I'm not knocking Huey Lewis in the news, but... No. Uh, oh, no, that's right, Solaire's got uh, some hot clothes. Uh, Solaire. <laughs> He's dad Max. Yeah. You know, he's kind of a giant dad, you know, a uh, giant pyro dad Solaire wearing, uh, I think just night armor pants? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Cataract yeah, rats, uh, you got it. He's, he's definitely, uh, definitely dressed like, uh, like a co-op partner. Yeah, uh, uh, do we have any fancy rings? No, this is, uh, as good as we're getting. All right, let's, uh, get our butts in there and hope the best. Here we go. Solaire, let's do this! Come on, you butthole. Solaire, I'm counting on you. Your bait. Be the best bait. Be the best bait while I channel my weird crystal sorcery. Shh, shh, it's fine, it's fine. He just had to murder a lady, it's fine. Don't touch me! You got big E-bed energy here. Don't touch me! Oh, that was pretty good. Whoop, no thank you! Leave Solaire alone, sir. Hey, oh, no, Halman, he how you doing? Halman's here! Halman did. Dippy G. Ranola. Well, oh. so-and-so. I mean, to the hell. the G yeah. stands for Great-tastic? Yeah. Guinea. No, oh, no, he got me! Oh, you fool! No, 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 he got me, but he got me. You handsome fool, you're inside of his chest. It's okay, I got health. No. I got health. I'm alright, I'm alright. Wow, that Although, I, I, I guess to be making a timely reference, it would stand for gaping. You know, it's it's funny that <laughs> he ate me, you see, because before I came down here, Midge was telling me about the movie Teeth, which, if you're not aware, is about I've Vagina Dentata. Ah, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen that. Yeah. Well, you know, the gaping dragon, you know, the, the the funny people like to talk about it, looking like genitalia. Now, granted, it's been a minute. <laughs> okay. Yes, but, and. Uh, <laughs> yes, and. <laughs> don't yes, and See, me, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> don't I'm just saying. Only, the only thing I don't understand about it being a horror movie is that it ends. <laughs> <laughs> I got gaped. Yeah, I got gaped. Is that, oh. is, that the, is that the horror? Are we still doing phrasing? I got gaped. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of phrasing, uh, it's tabletop game day tomorrow, and that's gonna be rough for me. Let me tell you, we got. Yeah. So what's the what's the deal? Like, you okay. keep saying tabletop, but are you guys playing like? Yeah, we're playing tabletop games. games. Yeah, Uno. We got. Oh. Um, I I will play Uno with my friends. Mahjong. Uh, I don't know how to play Mahjong, unfortunately. Me neither, brother. That's why I've never gotten all of the achievements in nope. any Yakuza game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, they think they don't have that as a, an achievement in any of them. That's like the in-game ones. It's different. I love watching Slow Beef crowdsource all those fucking Japanese games. Oh, my God. Yeah, watching that poor man try to do the Mahjong is always just better him and than I me, you know? Heard, what, Hanafuna or whatever? Yeah, I... Oh, yeah. So, like... Like, Oicho Kabu, I can figure out. But, like, Koi Koi, not a chance. I do not fucking understand Koi Koi. Uh, you just you just take whatever prompt comes up, and, like, 50% of the time, you'll win. Yeah, like, the, the problem is... So, like... 
And, and I'm having this, this same issue trying to learn, like, base scales. Mm -hmm. Like, my neurons have kind of calcified, <laughs> and it seems like new information isn't sticking as good as it used to. <laughs> so like, you're saying you're old. Able... <laughs> Got it. Yes. <laughs> That's exactly it. You've grown old. old brain. Yeah. So, like... So, like... I what used to be able to pick up scales and, and songs what you're, and What you're stuff. trying to say is you can't teach Granold Dog new tricks. And there it is. Uh, I'm, you know, I'll allow it. <laughs> I will, uh, yeah, man, like, my problem is, like, with Mahjong and with Koi Koi, it's like, it's trying to learn the hands. Because, hmm. like, I don't know. Poker hands, you know, I've known since I was a baby. That yep. is just, that is, that is information that's, that's sealed in my brain. But, like, I can't remember what the fuck, uh, 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 I don't know. Poetry ribbon is? Four, four lanterns in the west, what? Yeah, <laughs> like, I'm sorry? I'm, please, I'm stupid, help me. It'll, it'll no? be pictures of, like, two birds and a fish, and it'll be, like, the easterly breeze. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I, like, you know, it's it's the sort of thing where you know, where like Chinese aunties take all my money. Yeah, that was you know, Mitch had said her grandmother <laughs> would teach me how to play, but she was gonna kick my ass. It's the only way you'd learn. Yeah, I know. I was like, you know, I'm good, honey. Thank you. Though. Right? She's she's got a she's got to no, make it hurt. All right, for we the got, lesson to stick. We got two Lord Souls. We need two more, and uh, we do not have the Vesicle. We need the Vesicle. Okay, got it. All right, that's our task. But like, so, so my problem was I was trying to follow the like the in-game tutorial mm -hmm. and stuff, and they're like, just focus on making four sets of three and a pair. And I'm like, ah, <laughs> oh, sweet, I've got four sets of three and a pair. Why can't I win? And it's like, well, <laughs> because my friend, that's not the right four sets of three and a pair. <laughs> Did it wrong. It's, uh, it's, it's specific hands, you know, this is... See, I fucking love when you'll do something, and then they'll do the same thing, and it'll be like, declare Koi Koi, and I'm like, I don't fucking know. What? I guess. I guess. Yeah. You know? <laughs> sure, or why like, not, buddy? Or like, all of a sudden, you know, I'll, I'll discard a tile, and then it's like, run. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, I guess I just lose. I guess Auntie is just taking all my money. Just gonna teach us lessons. It's like there's a there's a context I'm supposed to be understanding, but it changes every single time. <laughs> exactly. This is fucking Calvin Ball. It, I was gonna say it feels like when uh, one of my aunts uh, tried to teach me gin rummy as a child. And, oh yeah. Oh yeah. It was I. I I you know made the mistake of listening to her instead of realizing she plays to win. And uh, <laughs> I ended up several hundred points in the hole at the end of the game. That's just Jeff. We trained him wrong as a joke. That's, that's really what I think she was doing, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Got his ass. All right. There you go. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, know. tabletop, I, tabletop I is that. real. We're going to play tabletop games. Okay, so like, what games several. are on... We got yeah. Actually, we have the Iron Chef board game. Uh, we got we got uh, uh, this this one about like uh, it's basically like uh, 80s horror movies, but the board game. Uh, okay, so so it's basically hanging out with middle-aged married couples. There you go. <laughs> Except Midge and I are the only married people that will be there tomorrow. So right. every time you know, it's like, do you have sex? Just say no. Well, it's funny you mention having sex, because uh, one of the incentives for $25, so uh, I used to regularly uh, send Skippy. Oh, this is going. No, 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 no. So I used to regularly send Skippy updates when Midge and I would go to secondhand stores, and one time we found what we what thought was a board game. It is a... It's horrible. It is a Christian-themed relationship-building activity box for married couples. I also feel like Skippy doesn't need to know that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, actually, Alvin, I don't mind. Is that so, the only joy you feel in life? It's, you know, I like to do you, the you, old Italian man thing where I just do the, like, <laughs> you know, the approving, like, downturned mouth and head nod with the thumbs up, just like, that's uh, my boy. 
Uh, so yeah. there's there's tips, you know, for a wife and for a husband on how to, you know, keep your marriage spicy. So, you know, 25 bucks, I'll read spicy. them. I'll read them. Mitch found, it's, it's originally from the early 90s. There was an updated copyright in, like, 2000. Uh, Minch read the very first male one that was uh, about, you know, like, cyber sex, and she, I told her, just read it for me, tell me if it's good, and all I was, oh, 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 God, oh, 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 no, oh, no, and she resealed it and put it at the top of the deck, so it seems like it's going to be a really good yeah, idea for me to read bump. those. <laughs> I'm just saying. Wow, you know, it is, uh... It is actually amazing that the divorce rate is so high with advice like that. <laughs> Aw, shucks. Ooh, color ampy ring. Uh, Hello. Aw, uh, shucks. I will stay here. But, uh, you know. Oh, hello. What do I know? Great things. Uh, oh, no, damn it! No, I wanted to learn the magic. Ah, oh, crap. You oh, fucked hello. it! He just... I did fuck it, because now he's not going to talk hello. to me, because... There we go. Splend I well. All right, what you got, brother? Uh, yeah, I'll buy these. He's like, oh, hey, Jeff, do you find my magic's distasteful? Yes, yes, You're I like, do. I hate your magic. Magic's the worst. Yeah, I don't like your fucking toilet magic. Ugh, patoo, patoo. Gross. Ugh. It's shit hand magic from the swamp. All right. No, no, no. That's uh, our other friend who's... Oh, I can't tell how these people are dressed. Look, right here, you know, he's got the... Balder armor, the gargoyle helmet, and uh, the cleric pants. That's that's our uh, pyromancer. You don't remember and him? He's still oh, doing the old Yakuza sit. Oh yeah, right. Right, Gav. Do you think my swamp magic is fucking garbage? <laughs> he gave us a butcher knife and steel gauntlets. He's a good friend. A flame from the great swamp. Now you're a fool. Don't ask too many man. questions, Guff. Well, <laughs> That's like how that. we do it in the Great Swamp. Okay, makes sense. Alright, what can we buy from him? Uh, yeah, we'll take this. But use a big knife. <laughs> can I call that a knife? Swamp magic is the first time you use a, a wet wipe after. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright. Oh, and we got the idiot. Okay, we did we did both the bosses. Cool. Alright, he's there. <laughs> Uh, I gotta, I gotta say, I like when I say something stupid and horrible, and you're both just like knowingly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's because we love you, baby. It was pretty, pretty good actually. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Uh, oh my! Jokes, He's... jokes about having poopies are uh, are kind of a big thing in uh, in construction. But in humanity, they're like in oh in, the, in the humanity. Eternal joke, yeah. Um, construction workers aren't part of humanity though, so. Nah. It's kind of a big deal for us to get to do people things. Uh, do I have a holy weapon? Let's see. The thing you need to keep in mind, Skip, is the Morlocks were human. <laughs> 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 Alright, we got a skull. You know, at one time. point, I did have hopes and dreams. Did and... you now? That's ridiculous. Oh, yeah. No, I absolutely did. Yeah. No word of a lie, I promise. All right, what was what was your big goal? You know what? I don't even remember, but I know that it existed. <laughs> it was there. I had it. Don't ask any more questions. I will, I will be taking nor answering any more questions. Oh, you know. Well, I mean, back in the day, I wanted to I wanted to write books and TVs and you know, make cool stuff, make cool art. Mm. But uh, you know, it actually turns out. Um, boy, I am just I am I am not good at sticking with difficult creative pursuits. Mm. Uh, and really, just not particularly skilled at, at producing them, so... I mean, I'm... Well, see, that, that's where you're wrong. You're, you're good at the producing. It's just... It's the fall through. Yeah, yeah, see, yeah, I was, yeah, I was right? gonna say, I, uh... You know, it's all... Things, but then you stop. <laughs> it's all part of the same and, stew, man. And that is... That is not a criticism, because I'm no, I mean, exactly it's, the same. It's, it's, it's true facts. It is true facts. But, uh, regardless, regardless, the, the point is, I just, uh, I do not possess the motivation or the killer instinct to, uh, to create. Yeah, you're, you're a psychopath, but it's the wrong kind. <laughs> the wrong kind of psychopath. <laughs> oh, I was here, okay. Well. What? But... No, no, elaborate, elaborate. 
I'm having trouble reconciling this. Well, you you have to have, you know, the, the singular vision that we're like, it's this story in my brain that no one else can hear. It needs to live. All right, we got ah, Neo okay. and the See, bed and that, chaos. That, that, that kind of drive is a form of being insane. Okay, yeah, yeah, fair yeah, enough. Yeah. I suppose and, it's... And you're, just, you're, the, you're the wrong kind of insane. We all are. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I'm mostly the kind that makes me want to, you know, smoke yeah, weed yeah. and yeah, yeah, yeah. watch YouTube. Hey, I got I got great news. Guess where we got to go? It's God, Blight Town, baby. Is it Blight Town? Yeah, that's what the Lord Vessel is. I'm looking I'm looking at my cheater sheet. We got to go to Blight Town. Uh, we got to go to An Orlando. And we gotta go to the Duke's archives. So I uh, might as well go to Blight Town first. Might as well. You know, it's how they get you. You know. It, it, it's like how I have a really good memory and I'm creative, but in the wrong way for that to be useful. Ah, <laughs> uh, not not, a, not in a way that engages people in such a way that they will pay you money for it. Oh yeah, that's I I was uh, very dogged and determined. You know, in in my attempted uh, expensive creative pursuit hobby. Uh, I've despite, listened to all your albums. I know. I know. I know you did, and I appreciate that about you. You know, you know who didn't? My wife. Cause I, I gave them to her, and I said, "Okay, never listen to it." And uh, she listened to me. Is that? Is which, this like which uh, wife? Is this the, the racist point? or the good one? The good one. Oh no, uh, the ra the racist was well aware of my <laughs> musical output. Is is this like when uh when Joey gives his demo tape to Chandler? I never watched like Friends, Chandler, so sure. Chandler, Chandler says he watched it, but Joey's like, I know you didn't because it was for like a Japanese makeup for men. <laughs> yeah. So it's a, a really racist character caricature of what those Japanese oh. commercials with a random celebrity like. But oh, yeah. also it was funny. <laughs> because they are crazy commercials. They, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the James Brown one for ramen noodles. Yeah. Or uh, what the the fucking Schwarzenegger one for the energy drink. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that was a good one. It's just an angry man. Ah. I mean, you know, M Mr. Baseball is uh, is one of my favorite all-time movies. Big Tom Selleck guy. Oh man, yeah, that was a good one. Big hit, Happy Body. Speaking of Japan, you guys been watching Shogun? Uh, uh no. Uh, I well, okay. So you we watched Milk Dribble Dribbling Cum Stain, Jeff. Hang on. We watched the first episode and did you guys notice that camera effect where like at the edges of it it was distorted and weird? Maybe your TV's dying because I don't know, but it was just like a thing. We saw it a couple of times on Fallout, but it was like definitely a zoom thing and we're just like, is this, like, the hot new camera thing people are doing? I uh, do not know what you're talking about. <laughs> Alright, maybe it's starts... TV might have a problem with, like, I don't know, digital post-processing or I something? I mean, it's I, I it's know. it's not a 4K or an 8K TV. Oh, uh, ni neither's mine, I'm but, I'm sure like... it doesn't have the, like, super black HDR stuff, so maybe. But, like, yeah. Yeah. it we're looks not, like... Not... It looks like uh, they were filming with a fisheye lens, where you have that distortion around the perimeter. I think your TV might be dying. Yeah, we're not we're not like criticizing you. Other than that, for your TV. Jeff, have you considered? You guys mo both might have glaucoma. Uh, I mean, I do have terrible vision, and my wife also wears spectacles, so mm -hmm. possible. I hope yeah, not. Possible. That'd be bad. Maybe you guys need to blow the dust off your glasses. I clean my glasses when I go to work <laughs> every day. It's part of my routine as a weirdo. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, you know it. it's fucking worse. What? Yeah. Cataracts. Oh no, thank you. Yeah, yeah, they suck. Mm. Oh, are you, uh... Yeah, yeah I can't see shit. Oh, our, our buddy's wow. a sufferer. On the upside, though, yeah. I, got a, I got a place for an oracle in my post-apocalyptic warlord camp. Yeah? You know, you can just make up any old bullshit. I know you already do, so... But now, like, the... I literally never lied in my life. <laughs> So this guy can, sees me, but the other that. one doesn't. Well, let's uh, take Shoot advantage of that. <laughs> Damn it. Come on, dude. Damn. Oh, oh, this guy's got what? me, dude. Son of a... I'm Seems stuck in the menu. Cool. Oh, oh, I'm fucked. Oh, I'm double fucked. God. Damn it. Oh, you hate to see it. 
Uh, anyway, hang on. No, Sh Shogun's. I mean, honestly, if you can uh, borrow a TV that works, I guess <laughs> it's it's well worth it. Somebody somebody on Twitter described it as Game of Thrones if Ned Stark was smart, hmm. um, which I think is pretty much bang on. Damn it, Avalon! Avalon! Say it. Game of Thrones, but hey, good. there it goes. Fuck me. Hey, this... Game of Thrones had its moments. The first couple of seasons were watchable. I watched uh, the pilot, and huh? I watched a couple parts of episodes with Midge. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, Game of Thrones. It's a show. Yeah, it I have certainly a... was a cultural moment. Yeah. I have a hard time not hating it retrospectively, given just how gross the producers were. Oh, do tell. Well, I don't know. Oh, they would go on fucking, like, Conan and stuff and talk about how great it was getting to cast all the topless women. Hmm. Yeah, it's uh, um, a little not good. Smelly boy. And, you know, constantly just inserting naked people into scenes in the books that did not have naked people. <laughs> I mean, you know, come on, you're in charge of some Hollywood. You gotta, you gotta get the, the boobs do out. Do ya? Do ya? <laughs> Apparently. You know, like, naked people? How am I naked right now? Yeah. Oh, I fucking love naked people. There's a reason I don't have the camera on. Just a big old naked time. You know, well, no, it's because I'm not doing, you know, the stair stepper, so I don't need to you know, show you know, that you know, off. You know, it's great, and what I like looking at, it's boobs, but sure. at the same time, you know, you don't need necessarily to just no, no, make I'm... your TV show all about how many fucking naked ladies you can get on screen. See, I'm just a simple, humble turnip farmer. I just like my wife's boobs. Oh, huh? Yeah, yeah. Look at me. I'm just a guy that's really attracted to his wife. Yeah, are you okay? Does she have a gun on you right now? Like <laughs> she's a, she's you... she's not even in this floor of the house. Blink, blink if you need help. <laughs> See, the the worst thing about the internet is that it trains us to be like we like them too. But <laughs> <laughs> that is disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, here's the thing. Here's I, the thing about Mitch. <laughs> Skippy can confirm. I don't need to defend her. She'll kick your ass herself. No, no. <laughs> see, I'm, I'm, I'm presenting this. I'm not saying it. I, I Wait. understand what you're saying. Just, just so we're clear, nobody is commenting on your wife's boob besides you. Besides you're the me. one that brought them up. Yeah, they're great. Yeah, yeah. Love them. Mm, fantastic. Look. Glad to hear it. I got a hot wife. She's fantastic. And you know That's, what? You know Smart what? as hell. Smarter than I'll ever be. I Bully for you, big guy. <laughs> I was I was legitimately telling her the other day how much that I appreciate, you know, not being the smart person in a relationship, because oh my. I'm See, wow. you, I'm a know, dummy, but I have been the smart one many times. That you really raises me? questions. <laughs> <laughs> you know who you're being right now, Jeff? Yeah. Oh, well, if you know, then say so. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, because I'm dumb, you see. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, 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 Hal from Malcolm in the Middle. Ah. Uh, uh, got that whole speech about how she's better, and he's just an idiot. That's the Oh, you are be. just straight up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. You are, you are Al Bundying it. Ah. Uh -huh. Just a dumb schlub. Yeah. Dumb schlub with a hot wife. That is you. You're living the sitcom thing. Hey. Oh, no, 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 but, just... but Jeff knows it. Oh, of course. <laughs> Cheat sheet now, not the hint sheet. Where, where in Blight Town, am I gonna find this stupid, stupid Lord Vessel? Where do we think? All right. It's it's up Quaylike's sister's ass. Oh, I gotta go on the fucking branch. <laughs> Damn it! I came down here for nothing. I knew it would be there. I knew it was going to be in the place I didn't want to go. Like, climbing back up to, you know, the depth side, fine. That's easy. Not a big deal. The branch, I fucking hate the branch. I don't ever want to do the branch. It's terrible. It's terrible. Why would you do the branch? I... Because the Lord Vessel is there. <laughs> you know, when you're right, you're right, baby. And you're right. Ha ha ha. Get it? Because they're both on trees. I'm just gonna ride this elevator and ignore you. Oh, Disney! <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't normally watch it. Just because... I can only take 
take that kind of TV show where everybody's... You know, like Seinfeld, uh, fucking, what's it called? Uh, the the show by the same guy, Larry David. Yes. Larry David. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, Curb Your Enthusiasm. Curb Your Enthusiasm, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, so, I, I, can, I can do a few episodes and then I'm like, oh, this is just, you know, I want happy... I, I, can, do, I can do clips. I really like clips of, of Curb Your Enthusiasm. I don't think I can sit through a whole episode. Yeah. Well, so anyway, there was a... The guy who runs the... What's it called? The, the the golf club that his character or he or whatever is a member of is a Japanese guy. Mm -hmm. And there's they were having some thing, and the guy says says something into him in Japanese, and they're at, like he's at a table with his friends, and the Japanese guy walks away, and then they're all just like, "So that's a car." Extremely funny. All right, which of these is going to be the Lord Vessel, the dead body or the chest? What are we feeling? Place your bets. Yeah. I think the chest. Going with the chest. Tallman, you're going to be contrarian. That's well, a yes. No, I'm not. Fuck you. <laughs> All right. Yeah, there you go. Of course he is. It's in the chest. Suck a dick. Well, we got some hot pants. All right. You got some notorious pants. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Also, uh, on, on the branching from Soka, that fucking line right at the beginning of. Like a dragon, infinite wealth. Mm -hmm. When you're you're meeting that bar lady who teaches you about Aloha friends or whatever, right? And she's just like gushing about Kiryu, and she's like, every time he says Soka, and right? I'm like, yes, exactly, I'm right there with you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, you know, <laughs> I just I appreciate how. The guys oh, oh me. my! Whoa. That's a that's a hot attire she's got there. All right, she's exactly my type now. <laughs> it's a real, real Mother Earth vibe. All right, where? It looks where, like a shampoo bottle. Where the hell am I going? Uh, Four Kings is in Orlando. Seath's shard is actually in his archives. All right, so Four Kings we want. Where? If I next, uh, no. No. I think there's a big old conspiracy on YouTube trying to get me to listen to the traveling Wilburys. Yeah. Black Son Illinois. of a bitch. In Orlando, in the room guarded by the three silver knights, Siegmeier of Katarina is trapped in the next room. That is that is where our next uh, Lord Soul is hiding. Fantastic. Oh, on the fucking roof. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm pumped. Uh, dark you gotta go through too. the entire goddamn I, place. Yeah, yeah, I didn't go through it. Inter uh, what the? I'm just wondering what the hell on earth I was doing that I did Dark Moon Tomb and I went. That way. What sort of wackadoo plan did I have? Is this the same same guy that you were uh, co-oping with the uh, old famous monster? No, or? no, no. This is a separate one. This is just purely a, uh, uh, a randomizer run. This this was on oh, the okay. PC. That was on the PlayStation. You see, it's totally oh, different. Excuse me. Yeah. So no, like, I'm the asshole. You here. you are, but it's okay. So here's the difference, right? When I wanna when I wanna duplicate souls here, right? I gotta yeah. take it and I gotta put it to the very first spot, right? Yeah. And then I want to go over here, and I want to I want to do my fake drop. Now, when I get here, all right, it's crazy. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do. I gotta use the mouse, so I gotta like press the button and do the mouse at the same time. You know, to try and get the thing going. It's 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 a, it's, it's a thing. You know, for me. Yeah, I don't think it's happening. It's fine. I seem to recall that you did this. I did it. It's perfectly the first time, like on the stair stepper. Maybe yeah, you should move it's, your feet. it's you know, it's funny. I have also noticed that when I'm not doing the stair stepper, it uh, puts me at a disadvantage, which is yeah. uh, you know funny. But anyway, yeah, I got to use a mouse. You know why, right? Um, I'm not drunk enough. Uh, could also be that, but it's state-dependent learning. Yeah, I know. I, yeah, it's it's. 
I, I was trying to do the Sensgate skip while just, you know, playing upstairs on the couch the other day, and, uh, yeah, I just beefed it, like, six times in a row, and then I came down here, and I was like, yep, first time, it's fine, you got it, don't worry. Anything you want? Yeah. You got it? Yeah. Baby. Yep, that's that old Roy Orbison. Yeah, 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 Skippy mentioned the traveling yeah. wheelbarrow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you know, you got if it's traveling wheelbarrows, you know, you got Mr. Jeff Lynn. No, I know, know, I know, I know. See, the problem is I'm a big Jeff Lynn guy. I fucking love me some ELO. Oh, they're so right? great. Yeah. Well, Turn yeah, to stone. Yeah, yeah. Sweet talking woman. All right. Jungle. Yeah. No, I mean ELO. It's it's bangers wall to wall. Yeah. They, yeah, they are a, a perfect group. They, yep, they're amazing. Fucking amazing. Hi. You know, Tom Tom Petty, I could do without. Probably not a big Tom Petty guy. Really? All right. Yeah, okay, not uh, not a huge Tom Petty guy. I just really, I don't, uh, I don't think his. Hey, think his, hey, his skip. Just, yeah. Nah, man. <laughs> well, You're famous. <laughs> I like how Jeff immediately knew. <laughs> just, I'm just gonna just like, get ready to deal with these archers that I love he's so just much. Like, I know how stupid Halman is. <laughs> I have, I have some archers. I have to have a visit it's with. Gonna be about the postman. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Do I have a bird ring? I hope I have a bird ring. I don't have a bird ring. Oh. I mean, I could just give myself a bird ring. I have I have oh, the ability actually, to just spawn items in on the PC, which is nice. Now that I'm now that I'm thinking about it, I think last time, last time I spoke to Jeff, I told him about the plot of the book. Yeah, no, I think uh, you did. Uh, I I think I was there. I was there when you expounded on it. It's a good book. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. He he does more than just tell people about Shakespeare. Also, right. he's from Minnesota. <laughs> well, you know, can't win them all. You got. Oh. <laughs> it's it's fine. I've seen you your got, pictures. Uh, Jeff. I can find you. I was I was, ta I was talking Angus about MacGyver Shakespeare, and, not uh, Minnesota. And, uh, I disparage. You know, you know who you. doesn't know what I look like? Now to keep an eye out for me. It's you, Jeff. You're fucked. I mean, I'm just gonna look yeah. out for anybody that's taller than me. It's quite easy, actually. <laughs> Duh. Oh, oh gosh, yeah. Keep you on your toes. Yeah. Literally everybody. Yeah, yeah except right. for my wife. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. Honestly, I gotta tell you, like, little Maria could probably bully your lunch money out of you. I mean, you know. That's why sure, I... Sure, sure, but could she handle a suplex? It's it's why I bring my lunch from home. Are you home. gonna suplex my guinea pig, you son of a bitch? I mean, I could. I do it Here's safe. The thing. I do it safe. Here's the thing. If you suplex my guinea pig, guess what's coming at you next? Uh, your other guinea pig? 300 Oop. pounds Not of really. prime Alberta beef, let me tell you. <laughs> you're, you're up to 300 <laughs> now, better? huh? All right. Nice. I don't. I don't think it can eat that much, but that's nice. <laughs> she is perfect and little. You leave her alone. Got him. You just. You just let her bully you. All right. That's how this works. All right. You know. Who, you know. Who that's how it works with little ladies. All right. <laughs> I mean, you're telling me. Mm -hmm. I've. I've been around a lady before. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Nope, can't reach him. Yeah. So good old, good old Minnesota, huh? James well, Hunt's from Minnesota, huh? He, he's a. Uh, he's at the University of Minnesota when the the bombs drop. No kidding. Yeah, that's that's why he knows Shakespeare. He was a lit major. Right. Yeah. Nope, that didn't work. <laughs> I did not know that about King John. Hey guys, look at that. But you know, it makes sense. He's a smart guy, he's multi talented. I mean, he's a doctor, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I appreciated him, you know, even when he was getting solid roles. I'm like, oh no, I keep, you know, my cert active because, you know, I was like, I earned it. <laughs> Might as well. Yeah. Uh, it's a lot less work to keep it active than it is to <laughs> get it back. Yeah. Well, which is why I'm glad in the great state of New Jersey, uh, my teaching cert never expires. I just have it for life. That's bad. <laughs> yeah, if you're if you're if you if you cut hair, you know, if you're in cosmetology, every year you have to get recertified teaching. Once you get it, that's it. You're good. Don't worry about it. We got you, brother. <laughs> it's 
So I don't, I don't know if I've ever talked about what I do with Jeff. All right. For a living, what you, not, uh, not what do you do when we're alone in a room. We were, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were does talking about it last time. The, does this have to do with the Christian marital advice, or? Look at that nerd. Look at that nerd. <laughs> Got his ass. <laughs> no, uh, so I, I, I proctor computer-based testing. So, you know, cosmetology yeah. for teachers. And I was, I was working there doing that when the great state of Arizona decided to stop requiring that people running uh, blowout bars be licensed cosmetologists. Oh. What is a blowout bar? Uh, you go get your hair blow dried. And there's 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 more to it. I don't understand it because my hair is typically never more than like two inches long. It's, if I wiki this, am I going to see a butthole? No, it's no it's, no no. It's kind of like a lot of those weird party bar whatever cosmetology slash elective surgery thing. So it's like somebody comes to your house and shoots you up with the botulism in your face, so you look pretty. Blow a blow dry bar. Yeah. There's a hair salon that provides exclusively blowouts, which includes a wash, blow dry, and hair styling. Yeah. No cut, no color. Why would you need certification for that? You just run some fucking machines and touch someone's head. Uh, sanitation, Skippy. No. <laughs> sanitation why. is absolutely a huge part of cosmetology. It's cosmetology, excuse <laughs> and, me. And that is why, about two months after Arizona oh, fucking got rid of the certification requirement, everybody had license. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't to, like life. To the point where this became like a national thing other cosmetologists would, would learn shit. about. You know, yeah, people, you know, people scoff at like hairstylists being a red seal trade. But it's like, no, I get it. I get <laughs> it. And you could like, doing a perm or certain guy jobs and stuff, you could fucking third degree burn someone's scalp if you Oh yeah, I know. I mean it's 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 bad news. Like people could get hurt. It's 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 like electrical. Yeah. But uh people get madder at you if you fuck up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. cuz you can Unless just... you burn their house down. That they they get pretty mad if you do that. Well, it's like that uh that meme sign about touching a the fuse box or whatever, where you will be in agony until you die. Yes. Yeah, not only will this kill you, will hurt the entire either. time. Is you die? Bad haircut. You gotta live with that. Ooh, dingy That's robe. Right. I love the dingy robe. You know. White Town Key. We ain't going there. Damn it. Unlicensed blowout bars, huh? Good God. Learn something new every day, man. Right. Dairy Queen has a test you have to pass if you want to manage or own a Dairy Queen franchise. Yeah, I mean, there's all, all sorts of fast food places. You know, they have their hot side, cold side certs, the just general ones. Yeah, but uh, teaching, well, you just pass it once and you're golden. What could possibly happen in, you know, the world of pedagogy that you need to be caught up on? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Sitting there indoctrinating See, kids, huh? I yeah. feel like I feel like all that Scandinavian research about how actually homework is detrimental to the learning outcomes of students. Are you telling me that all the times I tried to bring up research to my administrators about why it was a waste of time to be forced to assign 45 minutes of homework every night uh, was a bad idea, that I was correct? That's crazy. That's crazy. Why'd you but, say that? But, but, don't quote regulations to me. <laughs> I co-chaired the committee that reviewed the proposal to change the color of the cover that yeah pretty much pretty much <laughs> uh where is my stupid dingy bro that's what we wanted there it is all right let's get this thing strong as hell oh man it's dingy but it's tough yeah it's it's you know that dingy set underrated and yeah. people ra people rate it quite highly and i still say underrated Theory, theory craft it for me. What's what's so good about being dingy? Uh, it just is super light, 
granted, it has no poise, but its defenses are, like, off the fucking charts. Oh, yeah. Like, you're not really beating it in most categories. Like, there you go. Golem armor, which is stupid heavy and has a lot of poise. Yes, it's better than it, but not really by yeah. a whole lot. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, you've already got the plus 10, too. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's kind of part of it. I don't think you can upgrade the golem armor. <clears throat> Oh, really? Yeah, even other ones, when you upgrade them, it's really not matching the dingy set. Okay, I believe you. It's quite wonderful. Damn you know, it, I didn't mean to no sit here. Well, to... it's a good thing that we're on the computer, because I'm just going to warp my ass back to where we were. There you go. You got no reason to lie to me about this, you know? Yeah, I know. Uh, I think this is where we want to be. Hey, it's where we want to be. Okay, we're back. I sort of sort of zoned out because I was eating an apple. What's Jeff lying about? Um, nothing. I would never lie to people. Just like yeah, me. Yeah. There you go. The most That's why we're friends. Guys. Yeah. 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 One of us always tells the truth, and the other one always tells the truth. <laughs> yeah. Two guys that can't stop telling the truth. Well, I'm gonna die. We're just we're just truthful telling men, Skippy. I'm I'm gonna get killed by this by this logic Don't. puzzle. Don't ask us any questions, please. <laughs> both fucking bullshitters. Come on, sir. Why thousands of British Columbians are leaving for Alberta? Yeah. Probably because they priced themselves out of it. It it took me a split second to They're gonna parse. Be fucked when they realize it sucks here even worse. It took me a minute to pr parse that as the province and not like British expats living in, like you know. British people from Colombia? Yeah, that's what yeah, I thought. It, it, for a split second, that's what I thought. So I was like, that's kind of interesting. Okay, what is the relationship there? Like, oh, no, no. Like, like wow, that's crazy. Yeah, like, like where Vancouver is, British Columbia. It's, one of, the, it's one, yeah. of the, one of the best jokes from Community. Just that fucking pilot where he's talking to, to, to the, the English guy. Who has the show now on HBO? Mm. Oh, John, John Oliver. Oliver. Where he's like, but you said you had a law degree from Colombia. Now I have to get one from America. Waka waka. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get us to Seoul, huh? Let's do it. Sure. Yeah. It's not like there's a guy in here I gotta mess with. Thanks for not uh, not lingering on the Guinevere cheesecake shot. I mean, do you want to look at the titties? I thought we didn't want to look at tits tonight. Well, hold on. <laughs> no, no, no. The, the point is that it has to make sense diegetically. Oh. <laughs> is this diegetic? Wait, hang on. Is this diegetic enough? <laughs> How about this? Is oh. this good? That's pretty good. I'm going to throw you off a fucking bridge. This is so good. How is this not good? Both of you, one one in each hand. I'm just. What do I? What do I? Uh, there you go. A little bow for you, good sir. What I took film on? classes, Skippy. I took film. God, sick, diegetically. Hey, let's give me a good Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's crazy that I can still hear you with your heads that far up your ass. <laughs> Microphones must be amazing. Oh yeah, this is a, this is an Audio Technica, my friend. It's quite a oh quality. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Phantom power, baby. I'm audible right through my cheeks. All right, let's uh, go see our friend. Hello. You're not my friend, but we could uh, we could mess with you. We could mess you up. Come on, sir. Please, sir. Please get out of the. There you go. Excuse me. So, uh, so how much of Fallout have you watched? All of it. Oh, oh fuck yeah. Two episodes. I, oh. Well then, you saw the doc montage. Which is great. We, you know, the best boy. Yeah. Well, Skippy, girl. Skippy, can I give you a spoiler? Sure, I don't care. They say, they say the, the name. Line. They say the name. <laughs> they say, oh, it's so good. Yeah. yeah? Oh, I, I was, at one point someone says War Never Changes. Yeah, that one. I meant more so that they say dog meat. Did uh, did they make use of Ron Perlman while he's still alive? Or no, no. Ron Perlman, not that I noticed. No. The uh, the war never changes. Diegetics. <laughs> yeah. Diegetics. It, it comes from within the scene. 
I'm just gonna fight the knights. That's what I'm gonna do. Like I get it. It would have been a little bit more, a little bit too on the nose from actually being the show. Unless he's getting up there. I think they could have given him a spot doing something, you know? Just a little, a little cameo. Yeah, no, it's it's, it's have pretty good. Like, reading the news in four or talking on the TV or something. Cause he could just do that. I don't know. Yeah. I feel like it was on the news or something. Yeah. I I don't remember a lot of four. My my they, memories like they... of four is largely telling Skippy. So I bought four. He's like, why? You saw me play. I go. I'm just. I'm just. I just. I'll be fine. I'm just gonna do the base game. And yeah. I did. It was cheap, and I was tired. It was cheap. Yeah, I was it's... tired. I was bored. I need a new game. Uh, you know, all sorts of things. Someday I'll finish it. The the thing about four is that making trash houses was genuinely fun, mm. and nothing else about the game was. I mean, uh, you got to go to Maine. That was I, I did get into that section of it. That was interesting for me, you know. Welcome to Bar Harbor. Yeah, that was yeah, that's great. You got any chowder? We've got mist on the island. See, <laughs> we got mist at home, children. Sir, no thank you. Oop. You come out here, buddy. He's stuck on a chair. Anyway, I don't know. I, I appreciate that uh, that the, the show so far feels uh, a little bit more Brian Fargo than Todd Howard. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The word you're looking for is good? <laughs> I'm trying not to say good. I'm trying not to make value judgments until I've seen the whole thing. But uh, It's uh, pretty good. Definitely the uh, the hook is a bit more engaging than fours. The the uh, that's it's like I was telling my roommate. There's a reason one of the fucking first mods that came out was replacing Sean with a rock in the <laughs> intro oh, yeah. that has yep. Sean written on it. The mm -hmm. different ways you can write Sean <laughs> until they get it right. I like I like that. That's <laughs> I wish I knew it's, about it's like, that one. I would have put it in. It's like immersive baby or something, and so you just pick up this rock. <laughs> just pick up the rock. Yeah. <laughs> your wife's walking shit. around with your rock, fighting that guy to keep it from no, nice take it. You rock, rock. Because I, I think, I think it. The the thing was the writer had like just had a son or just had a, a kid, uh, and so it was like everybody's going to feel this kind of connection. I just did it. Everybody was like, "What the fuck? I don't care." Who gives yeah. a shit? Well, you're right. Cool, man. <laughs> All right, let's let's crack some seals. But uh, yeah, no, I I understand. Like people were uh, were kind of kind of shitting on this guy because he he also wrote Starfield, which was uh, fuck. I watched a playthrough of it, and I'm kind of glad I didn't pull the trigger on it. Cause yeah, I'm I'm glad fuck, I. Fuck, that's it. boring. <laughs> They didn't yeah. even, like, they, they included making little bases, but somehow even less point to them than in Fallout 4. Right? Like, fuck, it, it looked even less good than No Man's Sky. And, like, I get what No Man's Sky whoa, was whoa, going whoa. for. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No Man's Sky at release. It's pretty good now. Is it? Because I tried playing it again recently, and it's still fucking boring. Well, there's still no point to it, but it's, <laughs> there's, it's yeah. well made no point to it now. Like, it's fine, but, like, the planets are boring as fuck. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, well, that's, they're all real generated, but... Right, because... Somehow you don't get, start. like, good things out of it. Right, and then the, the, you know, there's no, there's no good vistas sort of thing. Fuck, I was playing Dragon's Dogma 2, there's this bit where you're going down this, like, massive river canyon. Fucking striking topography. Amazing, and that's what you get out of a curated world, whereas... What do you get from No Man's Sky? Like 50,000 planets in different colors. Yeah. They're bullshit. And then you gotta go talk to some motherfuckers and they teach you like one word at a time? Come on. Yeah, the... One of the things that really bugs me about the procedural generation, how they implemented it, is you don't get... You don't get just rat, wacky ass shit like you could in Spore, where it's like, oh, these... These other animals we have to kill look like a swing set with giant balls. <laughs> right, like, this guy is just, it's an ass with arms. He is, he is an ass. But he's the, got arms. the butt from, uh, Doom Patrol. From fucking Doom Patrol, oh, okay. that's right. You just, you come across the butts. And it's like, they're doing a little dance. That's so cute. They just want to sing some uh, show tunes for you, it's fine. They're social butts. 
They're like, hey man, why don't we, why don't we sing you a little tune? Why don't we, why don't we play you a ditty? Who among us doesn't love a little ditty? I love that this guy can't do stairs. Yeah, yeah. Just... Every time I've played this game, I have fought this guy like a man. Yeah, well, that's the difference between More you and yeah. me. A man? Yeah. He stands at the base of the stairs yeah. and knocks the shit out of an animal. No, no, I'm I'm saying in the pejorative sense. <laughs> yeah. Like a man in the pejorative sense here. Yeah. Like a prideful idiot. Mm. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe with an armored boar <laughs> when there is no need to do so. No, no, no. There's no, no benefit. Absolutely zero. Yeah, you just, uh, you know, you get this one to chase you. It's fine. Just turns out that this pig is stupid. Pretty much. Uh, let's 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 get us a little, uh, you know. If you're, if you're here. talking about that kind of view of manliness, Skip, I don't have time for that Christian nonsense. Oh, you got me. I can never remember his name. Yabushige? No. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, the the one guy with the beard. He's always just like. The uh, you know the 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 scummy one. The I have bag. I have made. It's funny because yeah, that's how everybody treats him. But he seems pretty. <laughs> Mostly just he doesn't want to die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his his overriding motivation is just not wanting to die. But but he's still you know like I'm gonna do all my my duties and what I have to. I just don't want to die for it. <laughs> Well, you still got to do your job. It's your job. All right, let's. Uh... The job is the job, man. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's try and get cute yeah, it... here. I downloaded the the 1980s Shogun because I really want because uh. With fucking Richard Burton and Toshiro Mifune. Yeah, Mifune's in it, and I really want him to be the Yamashika character, but I know he's not gonna be. <laughs> no, not at that point in his career. No, but he would have been perfect. Yeah. Because that is essentially the guy. I don't, yep. I don't know. I don't know what his name actually is. Because it's Yojimbo in the first one and Senjiro in the second. <laughs> I don't even know if he's named in those. Uh, just, you know, I don't think he is. Just the dude. He's just the wanderer. Yeah. Right? He's the man with no name. Yeah. It's almost as if Mr. Clint Eastwood's character was influenced off him or something, you know? Yeah. Are you saying that an Italian would steal? <laughs> <laughs> no, not my people. Get out of here. Oh, How dare you? What a spicy meatball you throw in on this, the day of my Dark Souls randomizer. <laughs> playing. <laughs> Whenever I think about your Jimbo, anyway, the bad guys grab it. <laughs> You have to watch out, that's Rabbit. He's got a gun. He's got a gun. He's got right? a gun. The guy with the gun is a pretty big deal. He went to America and he got a gun. Yeah. As, as you do. Scary as fuck. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Skippy came to America and I gave him a knife. That's like a gun, yeah. you know? I'm well, getting a gun next time. It's because he had to be able to get back out. <laughs> there you go. Well, he had to mail it to himself, I believe. I did, yeah, I did have to, to mail it to myself. <laughs> really? Yeah, of course. He was on a plane. You can't take a knife on a plane. I didn't have luggage. Oh. I just had a carry-on, so... Don't... Don't make it sound like it's inherently stupid to say that, Jeff. <laughs> you could have had checked baggage. I, I... I could have had checked baggage. I, I don't check you know bags. What, you, know what, you know what you can you fucking check as baggage on an airplane, Jeff? You're your privilege? What? Because I don't check bags. Is that true? Yeah, yeah. A fucking gun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can like check a gun. like a rifle in a rifle case. Yeah. yeah. There's, oh, yeah. There's like all sorts of signs now about how like, yes, you can take your gun. Here's how you need to package it. That's crazy. I'm getting a gun next time I'm in America. <laughs> you know, I think they oh, largely... Wait, big, Skip. Now I'm going to go to one of those states where you don't have to license them. Where you could just buy them at like at the Wawa or whatever. Yeah, that's almost every state. I was gonna say, Whatever so basically you wanna go to like Washington DC and say you just wanna appreciate America, but really, you know, you're gonna go into Virginia and just buy a gun at a gun show. You know what? I might actually just knock over a National Guard armory. Well, you can just go in and take just, stuff, right? Just wait until they're all in fucking Texas on the border. Damn it, this guy. <laughs> 
I'm gonna have to fight Come him legitimately. On. Yeah. No one, no one's minding the cheese shop. Gippy will feast. Yeah, that's great. That's great, actually. Uh, no, that's perfect. Maybe I'll just get myself a compound. <laughs> It'd be uh, kind of like, you know, uh, President Ted, you know? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the thing is, right, I, I also am a, am a failed musician, um, a frustrated artist, so obviously I can just pivot to, uh, you know, anti-establishment libertarianism. We could, uh, we could buy one of those decommissioned nuclear silos and oh. we're living at the SGC. Those are fun. Are they fun? I mean, they look you're big, cool. You're a big silo guy? Midge and I have watched some uh, home improvement uh, do over shows where people have lived in them. You know, they're interesting. Now I gotta tell you, the wife and I, we're big, we're big <laughs> bunker people. We're a bunker couple, all yeah. right? Yes, and? <laughs> what do you not you like know, about we, bunkers? Uh... Me and the missus, you know, we enjoy seeing a bunker. What do you do with it? You know, how is right. it different from the other you bunker know. people? You know, I just want to be clear. This isn't uh, this isn't a hobbit hole thing, okay? So you can just get that out of your mouth right now. Yeah, yeah no. Okay. Right. This is bunkers, okay? We're be we're serious people. Yes. Very different. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we are we are serious people. All right. They, they, the silos do have a round door, though. <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, you don't want to go down the big one. That's just you're gonna get hurt. Nah. Well, what if you like rappel down? Oh, well, you know, maybe maybe you're you into know, rappelling, and that's part of you know your activities at your house. Put a pole in, like you're a Ghostbuster. Yeah. No, totally. I was gonna say you should just get a fire pole that goes all the way down. Like Ghostbusters. Just Wait, like the Ghostbusters. In? Firekeeper soul. Ooh, that's good. All right. We can get strong. I feel like it would be like the episode of uh, Stargate where they're in the time loop. Because Jeff and I would walk down perfectly normal with all the, <laughs> the low overhanging bulkhead. Yeah. <laughs> and you would just bang your head every time. Alright, come on, Lord every Soul. Time. Damn it. It's humanity. Alright. Yeah, I'd, uh, I would be madder than you have ever seen me. Until, until, my skull caved in, and then I would be free. I mean, you know, it's the uh, sweet release of death here, everybody. Yeah. You, you watch uh, Lower Decks at all? Uh, no, I do not have. Is, is it Netflix or Peacock? Paramount. Paramount. Yeah, I don't have that. I, I was asking more skip. Ah. Just... Yeah, it's on. It's on Crave, which is sort of the Canadian cable version of all that. I've heard it's very good. It, it is really good. It's it's so good, actually. The, the, the bit where they're moving out of their bunks and he's looking at the dent he's made all the times they wake up from red alert. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's a uh, really, really good cast. Really good the, cast. I don't think anything has topped the fucking cetacean ops reveal and what the, the two whales are like. Oh, yeah, the two belugas? Just real <laughs> Hit talkers. Are they, the, real, are they the ones from Star Trek where they went to San Francisco through a time portal? No, 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 no. So, because it was the 80s and everybody was weird about sea life, yeah. mammals, the Enterprise D has like a whole big chunk of a deck on the, the saucer that's just water mm. and like place for people to stand next to the it's like a kind of dolphin and then what like right whales okay. mm -hmm. that are the actual navigators so like Jordy or whoever until Jordy gets promoted you know puts in what the the, the course that card says and that just like gets telegraphed to these dolphins who do the actual 3d navigation because they're used to swimming around and you never see it but they do talk about it a few times they talk about cetacean ops Mm -hmm. And then it was always on the uh, the schematics for the ship. And so it was always a thing with the fans being like, ah, ha, ha. Yeah, I'm looking at Memory off. Alpha here. By the 2380s, these facilities have been installed on Galaxy Class and California Class starships. Yeah, yeah. So that, so they go to Station Ops and there's a guy called Rutherford. And they're like, you look really sweaty. You should take that uniform off and hop in here. 
<laughs> they, just, they just immediately start sexually harassing him. Oh, yeah. Sure, as you do. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. The one, like, joins in after the conversation moves on a bit and tries again, and he's like, you fucking idiot, I return. <laughs> like, keep up. Oh, they're so good. And then when Boimler drowns, and they're like, don't let him dry out. <laughs> ah, bottlenose dolphins. They're fucking assholes. I mean, most dolphins are. Especially bottlenose dolphins, but on the California class, they're, they're beluga whales. Mm. Yeah. All right, Balloon. let's get murdered. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> yeah, once just called that. Matt. Hey, Sif. Oh no, my health. Oh no. Well, we're dead now. But I'd say until until the second season of Strange New World, th there was no competitor for Lower Decks being the show that like most understands what Star Trek is. Hmm. Yeah, it is. It's it's uh, it's basically a fanboys rule out to run wild. <laughs> They're like no references to niche. And then Halman started drooling, but didn't know why. <laughs> it is so good in the the crossover episode when they're just like, do you notice they keep making really specific references? <laughs> did you did you watch that? I don't know if you watched Strange New Worlds. Did not. I did. Scary. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I, I like it. I like Strange New Worlds. It, it's yeah. It's. It's good. If, it's, if Discovery um, turns you off, you should give Strange New Worlds. <laughs> Discovery's just a bit much. I feel like Discovery's trying to do some real high concept shit. The the big problem for me, especially now, is it's just too like dreamy JJ verse stuff where things aren't really connected in a way that makes sense. Oh uh, yeah. Stuff is just happening. Just you know, I enjoy stuff just happening, but in a in a Star Trekky kind of way, where it's just like we want to make a really specific point. And yeah, in you know, I just way. want like internal consistency. <laughs> That's it. That's all you want. And uh, I want all the parts of a starship to be connected. <laughs> That's crazy. Why would you want that? Uh, because apparently in the future they stop doing that. Well, it's so it's easier to navigate. There's just uh, portals, right? No, 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 no. Oh no. No, it, it now that now that now this the nacelles just sort of hang out next to the ship. They're not actually connected, they're just there. Uh -huh. Yeah, but it also I, doesn't really use warp. Doesn't it use like mushroom? Well, the Discovery does, but all the other spaceships are also just weird hovery bits that don't connect. Oh yeah. They they get they they get like booted a thousand years in the future from the future. And the <clears> aesthetic <throat> for like every single thing is just horrible. And it, it got super lazy. Everybody has personal transporters, so now they don't even like walk around. <laughs> There's no tension for getting to somewhere in time. Like, oh, we have to run across the ship. Nope, nope, nope. Just teleport. All right, let's try to uh, murder these idiots with Avalon. And everything is always about the least interesting character on the show. Oh, that didn't work. New season just started. <laughs> Come on, Avalon. All right. So make sure they're not moving, because then they just miss your arrows. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, nope. Ma'am, no. This is not what we're doing. Right. So the, the trouble seems to be that your character could uh, learn a trick from the LAPD. You mean ask questions before shooting? No, no, no. Two in the body, one in the head. Uh, yeah, you know, we... We just we just got three right out. That's 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 all our, that's our hot move with this yeah. device. That was, I, don't, I don't know if either of you played the FMV 
Please bless the SWAT game. Uh, no. Oh. But. No, she oh. got me. What a bastard. The, the, the police quest games always had the like giant disclaimers that they were written by the former Daryl Gates yeah. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everything is super accurate. And all I remember about that is when your character goes to the gun range, which you have to do, you have to get certified, which is clearly unrealistic. <laughs> <laughs> is that the range master just kept saying two in the body, one in the head. Two in the body, one in the head as you're shooting targets. I remember reading those on the old, like, LP forums and archives, and I think, wasn't that also the one where when you get into the car, you had to do, like, buckle up, or else you always get into an accident and die? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had to do the, the like, ten-point check. Yes! Buck her out, kick the tires. Oh, yeet, ah, uh, no, no. Target, target! Please, game. We got a murder to do. Twat was so funny because it's the same. If you're not following the procedural bullshit right, then like the little old lady who on the good path is a little old lady who has a heart attack and needs your assistance. Pulls a gun out and shoots you because you didn't announce yourself. <laughs> yeah, I mean, who? It's, it's citizens, uh, right to bear arms, there, baby. You know. What do you, What do you think this is? Uh, England, huh? No, it's America. Guns everywhere. Stab your ass with a knife. Huh. Lots of knife crime in England. Yeah, that's true. Just gonna murder these innocent ladies and maybe we'll get that soul that I need. Probably not. Come on! Magic pixel. Man, please. Be really good if you could just drop. Nope. Got a couple more in you. Uh, Alright, there we go. Like her own soul mass. That's good. Black iron legs. And ooh, I had the key. All right, all right. Hi, Logan. Oh, thank you. That makes. I will visit the. Hello. All right, are you good? You gonna you gonna do your move? Hello. He's gonna do his move. Okay. What did we get? What's our prize? Get out of here, Cyclops. Come on, soul. Nope. Green Titanite shard. That is quite not at all what we want. All right. So, let's, uh, I don't know, shoot some guys. And Chloranthia ring. Hey, there we go. That's nice. Got to shut off the drone music. I'm sorry. It's, uh, it's been good, but, uh, I think we can do better. Just, uh, to do some bow dickery, and, uh, we'll be fine. Sir, please. Oh, really? I hate this stuff. I see your friends investigating. We're all going over there. Just, just big old spears stuck in his leg. Nope. All right, he's, he's had enough. Maybe not. Some guys hanging out near the phonograph. And yeah, start we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go you know shut that record off. We don't need to listen to it. It's a little too low there. So it's, it's old timey fiddle music. Yeah, you know it's uh I mean, <laughs> who could who could not like that sort of music. <laughs> Though I will say, I kind of wish they had I'm, given him. I'm making a reference that Skippy will get to do or not. Yeah. When Skippy listens back to this VOD later, which he'll totally do, because, you know, don't we all? Oh, did he leave? No, I'm here. He's, What's going on? I was reading the thing. What the fuck are you talking about? 
Oh, there's the phonograph, and I said, you know, it's fiddle music, because there's this guy's hanging out that Jeff has to kill. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And he was yeah. like, who wouldn't like that? And I was like, ha ha ha, I'm making a reference that skin mm. people get, mm -hmm. and not mm -hmm. Jeff. Mm -hmm. I got your reference. Joke's on you, I didn't. <laughs> oh. No, it was, it was the opposite. Yeah, he didn't see that episode. I've only oh. seen the first. You got it backwards. Oh, oh. Yeah. Okay. You got it backwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I've only seen two episodes. Y'all have both watched the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys both ate the whole birthday cake. Yeah. I watched well, it over like two the, or three the days. Jello and, the the Jello and cake. That's. <laughs> I mean, Jello cake's just better. What? Get out of here with that Jello mold. <laughs> Get me out of here, granoli. You know what? At the, did you watch? Uh, did you watch Severance? I Apple did TV. not. I do not have the Apple TV. Oh, I've yeah. seen a lot of clips. He's in Severance, isn't he? He is. Yeah. 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 That's a uh, that's a good one. I like that uh, sort of like dark corporate surrealism, where where companies are not your friend. You're implying so that time more people. Uh, you know, realize that. I feel like you're implying that companies can be your friend, my friend. What do you mean? Well, you're saying where companies are not your friend, implying there's are you some... To, are, you, are you trying to tell me that Spacer's Choice does not have my best interests at heart? No, it's not the best choice. That was terrible. It's Spacer's Choice. <laughs> Let's see, where the hell you do know, we I, need to go? I really enjoyed that game, but the central premise for the story was dumb. <laughs> Uh, it was, it definitely felt like, uh, like a tech demo. It basically felt like something that they pushed out to be like, Fallout 4 is shit, and this is why. Yeah. And, I mean, they were right, <laughs> is the worst part. Congratulations, we gotta go to the uh, area where Logan moves to. Have, have you played it, Jeff? Played what? Uh, outer outer worlds. Uh, I haven't played it, but a friend had the PlayStation VR headset, so I checked it out at his place. Okay, uh, okay. So, so you know how if you eat nothing but rabbit, you eventually die? Uh, no, I was in like free play mode. No, 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 no. In real life. Oh, okay. Yes, if you eat <laughs> any, if yeah. you just a bunch of rabbit meat, and like that's the primary thing in your diet, you die because of missing nutrients, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the idea in, in Outer Worlds is that everything is going to shit because all the vegetables and stuff they plant aren't working and it's just like vegetable shaped nothingness mm. and everybody's dying of starvation because apparently vegetables only work on Earth. Okay, sure, you know, I guess. Well, I think the issue was more the like genetically modified crops because they were using Monsanto seeds because ah, it's like there we go. heavily corporate. I think that was the issue. like. You know, the, the, the fucking proprietary seeds that they sent weren't sufficient. Like, they didn't really think it through as a sustainable answer to it. I think that was the issue. At least that's the read I got from it. Oh, yeah, the read I got from it was that, like, it was specifically growing them in the new sector of space is what wasn't working. Yeah. So they, the vegetables were growing, right? You were still getting cucumbers, but they didn't. Yeah, totally. They weren't right. It was just they weren't even they weren't even just cucumber flavored water like a real cucumber. I just mm -hmm. I just I gave myself the door key because apparently it's somewhere else in the randomizer room and I wasn't going back down there. Just 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 announcing I don't care. Okay, we don't talk to cops. Yeah. So yeah, I found that key. All right. Who are you to tell me I shouldn't have found it the way I found it? You know, I didn't see nothing. Yeah. Go put an arbiter. egg in your shoe and to, eat it, Skippy. The you know? arbiter of keys. I was trying to trying to figure out if uh, uh, what the fuck is going on with these Fallout characters. Mm. Which 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 ones? Well, no, I just I was I was getting a sense of the timeline here because I was like, oh, and, you know, yeah, they they aren't. It's, it's funny, because they both are and are not explicit about it. Because I didn't... They tell you precisely how many years have, have, have passed since the falling, Yeah, right? but it's like, come on, who the fuck remembers what year Fallout New Vegas took place? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, this is all taking place after New Vegas. Yeah, because I, I thought that, like, 
Because I thought Fallout 76 was like... Before everything. 76 is 20 years after. The fuck? Yeah. You're you're going out in 76, like, immediately after. Your, your vault dweller was a person who went into the vault. Yeah. In 76. Like, as a kid, I think, but... You're still just popping out right after, and then the show is taking place 226 years after, or something like that. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. It was... Because I, I had this thought in mind that uh, the fucking... Uh, the doctor guy... It was like, oh, I'm gonna trap my hand off. Is, uh... Was, was, was the master? Because I thought the master was supposed to be a fucking... Enclave guy, but mm. I was way off. So that's what I was looking up. Oh, yeah, oh yeah. No, when no. I was busy not talking to cops. Yeah. The master yeah. is like literally just some guy who fell into the vault and then went insane because he yeah. got he got fevved into the computer. <laughs> he got fevved up. Him and him and Harold were hanging out. Harold escaped and became Harold, and the master became the master. What's the problem? Mm -hmm. Well, there's no problem. Stupid, was... sexy Richard Gray becoming the master. Yeah. I, I know I could come to you guys for uh, <laughs> way more lore details on anything than I ever wanted. Are you are you saying that you know you have friends that just really read, retain, and remember stuff that you know has really no uh, useful you know bearing? What? Oh no! I'm just saying that uh, in what specific he's saying is that we're both wastes. You guys are on an extremely the, handy part of the spectrum. The spark of human potential, and we just snuffed it out, and we're like, I'm gonna learn about red green. What if I just, yeah, you well, know, you know uh, what? I you mentioned Harold Skip. So, uh, so I'm here. I'm here calling shots, huh? That's that's what's going on. I'm I'm here. I'm here saying that you guys, actually, speaking of speaking of Harold, actually, in uh, in that uh, in that uh, that show, the trades. Uh, Pat McKenna is actually. Uh, oh, does he show up? Nice. Yeah, he's he's the guy's dad. Oh, he's, I don't he's, want to think about how he's old now. He's pretty old. He's pretty old. <laughs> Just white hair. All right, Archer. I don't like you, and you don't like me, so you're dead. Uh, 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 I'm gonna do a runny throw. Okay. Slash. Yeah, fuck. Like, Pat McKenna's like 63 now. That's crazy. Uh, at the same time, I assume it, the entire rest of the cast, except for whoever it is that the lady he falls in love with, is probably dead. Of Red Green, not, not the traits. Not just like overnight they all die. Well, you know, yeah, there was a horrible weird. accident. Perhaps you're familiar with how Leonard Skinner died. Uh, you know. Similar-ish. Yeah, Steve Smith is still alive. He's only 78, for God's sake. Steve Smith. Yeah, red-green. I know. <laughs> for some reason, I thought everybody was sad about him on, on Twitter a few years ago. Oh, yeah? Maybe you did something racist, I'm not sure. I'm not willing to discount it. Can't trust anybody these days. Hey, Logan's here. I don't know, he looks like a like a kind old man. Hey, he does look have... like a kind old man. The good thing about Canadians is, is by and large, Hello, you can trust us. Uh, if you're Chinese, man. Super fucking racist. Farewell. <laughs> or at least in the cities, I guess. In the big cities. Oh, yeah? Yeah, 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 as a reaction to, uh, you know, it was like an actual thing where, where Chinese kids were coming over to go to school, right? And then their parents were buying the houses and stuff. And then local conservative NIMBYs or whatever started a whole narrative about Chinese people buying up all the houses. Okay, but to be fair, conservatives get mad about a lot of well, stuff. Right, 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 right. But, you know, and then the CBC was like, well, we'll treat this as fact. Okay, I mean, the CBC is... A joke. Right, right, right. But, yeah. but, so, you know. Like, none, none of this is surprising to me. We, I'm not saying that we're, uh, immune to idiots here. Right, right, right. It's, you know, it's, it's like, uh, 
It's like everybody everybody here in Minnesota was racist about the natives until To be honest, I don't think I got a like to stand on because I'm I'm reminded of Gian Gomeshi, so Yeah yeah. Well it's just you know, it's like whatever the new group is, everybody turns on them. It's like nobody nobody had a problem with African Americans here in Minnesota until they started moving here. <laughs> And then suddenly wow. all the racists remembered sure. you could be racist about more than just the people here. <laughs> Look, we already had Kirby Puckett. Why would we need any more, right? That's the line uh, of thinking. And, and uh, Warren Moon, man. Yeah, Warren Moon. Oh, that was a good time. I remember when I was a Ute and NBA Jam came out on the home systems, everybody was... The, the, the schoolyard thing was like, dude, Warren Moon is in the game. He hits every three because he's a quarterback. And, you know, it made sense in kid logic. Yeah. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Oh, nope. I do want to go there. All right. We can fight fire, Grandpa. I don't have my oh, usual yeah? armaments. We'll see how this goes. Actually, wait. I do have just soul mass. Soul mass. Yeah, I got soul mass. All right. Also, well. on, on the on the pro the topic of uh, problems with Canadians, <laughs> the uh, the TikTok algorithm really gets me because I keep getting served up stuff where people Here are making fun of how Canadians in World War One couldn't be trusted with POWs, <laughs> POWs. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Because uh, if you gave them some Germans to bring back to the the lines, none of the Germans would get there. <laughs> Uh, Canadians would yeah. pretty much always murder all the prisoners they took. That's uh, that's something that uh, kind of gets swept under the rug, but uh, yeah, Canadians are an extremely bloodthirsty people. And I just, I really enjoy that. I just keep getting like random videos from like Zoomers. <laughs> like, did you guys know? It, yeah. Well, it's always these reaction stuff where, you know, it, it'll be the like, Oh, hey, man, can you take these guys back to the lines for... Wait, what's that flag on your shoulder? And then they just stare at each other. Great. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, that's, that's, that's the why problem? they... That's what why they it, right? disbanded the Airborne, right? Yeah. You know, because they uh, tortured a kid to death. It's a good reason. <laughs> you know, I'm not saying that... I'm not saying we were wrong to do it. You know, but uh, definitely, yeah, uh, definitely a pretty, pretty definitely, Canadian thing definitely to do. weren't on the right to do it either. It was, uh, it was, it was, it was a very, very Canadian thing to do. You know, very uh, murdering a kid, a very Canadian thing to do. You know, Skip uh, granola, the, everybody. The, the thing you gotta understand. Jeff, 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 Jeff. They didn't murder a kid. They tortured him until he died. <laughs> right. right. So here's, totally here's what they did. They, they, they set a trap for a starving. I believe this was in Somalia. I, I think. Uh, they set a trap for a starving Somali kid by leaving their food stores unlocked, and then they captured him, and then they tortured him to death. Mm. For it's essentially entrapment. No. It was completely entrapment because and people then, were sneaking in and stealing supplies and stuff because they were starving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and of I course, mean, the airborne being monsters. Technically, technically, skip. And this is an important distinction. Not entrapment because they're not cops. Oh, that's true. They're not. Well, I mean, they are basically cops. <laughs> right? ACAB includes soldiers. Oh yeah. Um, but uh, but anyway, yeah. So the thing you got to understand about like Canadian politeness, it's a lot like British politeness or Japanese politeness. It's because otherwise we murder each other. It's like when you got like two gerbils in too small of a cage, and like you wake up one day to find one gerbil inside out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's how Canadians well, are, but we have much bigger like territorial boundary. That's actually because the gerbil was exposed. Hey, to there he goes. <laughs> Don't apologize for the murder gerbil. No, 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 no. I'm saying it, an eclipse like a Saiyan. Gotta get inverted. Oh. oh, I see. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's, it's because he was ripped open by the other gerbil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, that's just that came to mind because... Uh, Came to mind because you're a big anime guy. Like, no, 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 no. Specifically, uh, Jackie Vichetto, who, who is a goon. She's nah. supposed to be Star Trek fed a lot. Yeah. Uh, is the part of the, oh my god, wow. People, mm -hmm. who did like uh, uh, the 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 proud bottom teaches typing stuff. Oh yeah. The 
Anyway, they also made Trombone Champ. Oh, no shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, she fucking loves Vegeta. And so I just, like, it came up when the eclipse was happening. And I was like, well, what happens to say? And she's like, well, they get inverted. And I, so I was just thinking, like, it became, it was like this big conversation between us. Because I assumed she meant that it actually happened in the show. Oh. It was not just something they talk about and, like, why eclipses terrify Saiyans. <laughs> Okay. It's like the gas that turns people inside out from that Simpsons Treehouse of Horror. That's right. Except because they're, you know, monkeys, they want to eat a whole bunch of bananas, too. Just a whole bunch. Yeah, they just crave the potassium. Can't get enough of it. Big, uh, big gross Michelle guys. I do want to try one. The forbidden tank stinks banana. I don't think they're extinct, it's just that now they're like... It's literally just where like some guy has a has a tree in his backyard. They're out of fashion. Well, you uh, can't do it commercially. Because everywhere you can grow commercially has that fungus. All right. Yeah, yeah it's a it, tough, because, tough one for, for a banana. Because in the, uh, in the same the same genius vein of doing just dumb agriculture shit and then repeating the mistakes, uh, because they, they keep trading whatever these are, Cavendish? Mm hmm Yeah, yeah, that because, you know, they didn't they didn't, like, find new places to grow bananas they just burned down all the gross Michelle trees and then planted Cavendish and then they kept swapping those trees between all the, the different plantations, too mm -hmm. because they're fucking stupid. They're fucking stupid and so, that's so why. now one of the fungus, yeah, the fungus adapted in like one place, and now it adapted everywhere because they yep. kept trading the trees in the same exact way that this uh, this avian flu got into cows because they were grinding up chickens to feed to cows. That's it. That's it, and that's that's why outer worlds. Yeah. It's, it's also just a live grandpa. No. We oh, got me. up the businessmen to feed to other businessmen. So that in short order we don't have any business. That's praxis. And we should do it that way instead of the guillotine. Because guillotines are heavy? It's true, right? <laughs> Someone has to lift that. That's not fair. Although that does uh, create jobs for carpenters. And welders. Come on. We're gonna get ahead in the world field and get Hey, so. we got him. That's a baseball. Fuck this place. We're out. <laughs> Fuck you. I quit. I don't have to fight you. I'll fight you how I want to fight you. Helmut, I want you to know that I heard your joke, you son of a bitch. <laughs> and I appreciated it. Ah. Uh. <laughs> you fucking guy. Well, we won, everybody. Look at that. That's oh, turn you back game? on your job. You had one job to link the fire, and now, a nice. Now you're just talking to a bunch of dick snakes. Yeah. You know. Can you kill these guys? No. We are here to serve your. Are these dragons? No, they're primordial serpents, man. Did you know that they have disgusting little bodies down there? Are they big turtles? It's like a little man body. Hey, like, it's like these are these are the creeps you found them. You can kind of see it because I turned the graphics filter off. Oh yeah. Did, so you know that episode of Adventure Time where where Jake gets cursed and loses his magic and gets that little man baby body? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So that's what Framp looks like down there. Mm. I don't like it. <laughs> I mean, it just... You don't. You don't have to like it. Just accept. <laughs> there you go. Well, that's uh, that's Dark Souls. We did it. Um, Good job, Jeff. I can't believe that we watched you beat a video game. I know. So hey, let's let's go back to what we were talking about. Oh, geez, ninety minutes ago. Uh, tomorrow oh. is Extra Life Tabletop Day. Uh, I'm going to be playing tabletop games. We are at uh, the halfway point. So my wonderful wife Midge said, if I oh. raise a thousand dollars before November second, she's going to make me film training vlogs using durian protein powder. I'm not quite sure what that means, uh, but it's going to be terrible. Uh, we are well, we, it, we're at five hundred dollars. How you're supposed to use chalk? Yeah, you're going to use durian powder and then fall to your death from the trapeze. No. Uh, <laughs> so there's uh, there's a whole bunch of you know torture torture the Jeffrey incentives uh, and donations you can do. Like you could you could 
give 25 bucks and I just lose a turn. Uh, you could give Ten. 25 bucks and I have to make whatever you feel is the worst possible move that round. Uh, Can you know? we not do nice things? I mean, if you want to tell me, if you want the move to be a good one, you could do that. I'm just assuming you're going to, you know, want to twist the knife. Snort a line of questionable powders. You know, oh, yeah. I've, I'm not, I'm not much of a snorter, um, but. See, my, my thing is more kindness. Yeah. <laughs> to my fellow man. Yeah. I, I, I make jokes because of a bad childhood, but. Ah, hello, my friend. I see you. <laughs> I'm a fan of good things, actually. Oh. Also, also leg kick. I'm Halman. The other voice is Skippy Granola, yeah. and then Jeff, you know. Yeah. Like leg <laughs> kick's been they, around. They asked, "Who are these creeps?" That's that's the joke. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Uh, Had nothing to do with the old Dick Snake Aroos. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> tomorrow is the, the the board game game day, and if do the creep. Let's <sighs> if we if we get some buckaroos, we get closer to the durian protein powder. That'll be great. Extra life is children's charity, uh, the old children's miracle network. It's a local New Jersey hospital. My stuff goes to any, uh, any kind of buckaroos work. Can I? Can It'll, I donate bonds? <laughs> you could you could turn whatever currency you have. They'll turn buckaroo it into bonsai. American dollars. There. I don't think I don't know what the rate for Buckaroo Bonsai is to to Smackers is. I mean, maybe go to one of those Bitcoin ATMs. They'll probably handle all sorts of shady transactions. Have you not seen the Bitcoin ATM, Salmon? No. Oh my! There's one in uh, the little like corner liquor store market that I go to. It's uh, it's 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 the. It's like you couldn't think a shady ATM could have a bigger I am a scam, I will steal your information sign on it. And yet, <laughs> the Bitcoin ATM. Mailing copper ingots. I mean, you know, I, if I can smelt them, I suppose. You know, I I, I can record uh, donations that are not through the online portal, although the online portal just, is the easiest. Just, just so long as you record who sent you them. Mm, mm. I mean, that could be part of the training video. You know, I'm pulling the copper out of the, the See, bag, I, doing some I curls. Can't tell if, I can't tell if Jeff is getting the, the reference here. No, I'm not. EA Nasser, the Babylonian businessman who somehow... Oh, yep, 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 yep. Now it all comes back. Of so, yeah, of such low quality that his name has survived through <laughs> antiquity. <laughs> and he was quite rude. Ugh. Yeah, oh, they actually, they found another, another uh, cuneiform tablet complaining about his wares this somewhere fucking else. guy you know <laughs> shield design contest winners well the, the highest award the ron popiel of babylon <laughs> oh my well Think video. Uh, remember those yeah i was looking at that and going god i remember ripping those from my mech warrior 2 mercenary cd to like watch on my computer that's that's yeah. I was thinking, uh, XCOM Apocalypse had some bink videos. Yeah. Who wouldn't be going through all the time to be shit at your job? I mean, yeah, I guess. Hey, you know what? It's the dream. Live the dream. Yes, Still being indeed. exceptional. Yeah. The uh, that's why. That's why people undead. should specify. <laughs> yeah. Well, in uh, let's see, it's two o'clock tomorrow, so like thirteen hours. We're gonna play some board games. Uh, Hang out, it'll be fun. What? Yeah. It's board game. Well, I mean, you know, you're welcome to participate virtually, but you know, I'm I'm gonna set up the webcam, we're gonna we're gonna have oh, stuff going in the house. I mean I just was looking at the time and I was like, I don't understand how this this time conversion. Okay, so it's one AM right now. We're playing at two PM. No, no, no. I get it. I get it now. <laughs> two PM Eastern time, the only time I know. And, uh, yeah, we're back in prison, and that's great, but, uh, I don't know. Well, you gotta, you gotta make your new person so that we can... No, there's no new person. We're done with Rando. We're gonna look at the spinning sandwiches and just appreciate the delicious food. Look at it. We got, we got a Neapolitan ice cream sandwich. Delicious! We got some Peking duck bao. Oh, my. I love eating that at the family, uh, you know, food meet get togethers Uh, we got, uh... A little spinny round roll. Okay, got some turkey, sausage, and eggs. Wonderful. I would be in that right now if I wanted to leave the house. And, uh, of course, last but not least, uh, you know, you got yourself an everything bagel with a sausage and egg. 
what's not to like, you know? Great foods. Great foods. And you know what else is great? All of you guys. Tom and thank you. Skippy, thank you. Like kick, glad you're here. Mooka Levy, if you're still here, we love you too. My fellow secret Skippy Granola chat front. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. I'll be back later. Be greasy, you sweet babies. Get greasy, we love you. <laughs>